Hi Capricorn, welcome to your bonus reading for the month of January. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Capricorn, this is a new series I'm adding to the channel. This is a bonus reading for every sign, love, life, and advice. And if you've seen my weekly element readings, I've decided to switch that up into each individual bonus reading for the month. So I'll no longer be doing, doing the weekly energy readings. So I thought this would be better and people would enjoy this more so you can leave me comments down below and let me know what you think so let's see what's going on for capricorn in love life and advice at this time welcome in everybody i hope everybody's doing well hope you're having a great new year so let's see what's going on for capricorn love life and advice at this time this could be past present future energy and this reading is for sun moon rising jupiter and venus if you have cap in any of those placements and Capricorn, you can check the description box below. Tons of information down there. How to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, if you'd like to tip or donate or send a gift. That is down there, as well as your love and general playlist are also down there. I consider all my readings timeless, so if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, something catches your eye, regardless of the date, I'd say watch it anyway. All right, so let's see what's going on. Capricorn and love at this time. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. So we have 16 here. Love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. So someone's um, needing to acknowledge that there is definitely love in a situation here. Somebody may not be uh, facing the music, so to speak. So we have 16, 7, and 7 can talk about self-deceit. So maybe someone does not want to face the fact that they have feelings for somebody or there is love and a connection and they're just not wanting to um, acknowledge that for some reason. I don't know. We'll see. So we have here 48, demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. So 84 here is 12, which is 3, which is about coming together, working together, um, teamwork, collaboration, compromise kind of energy. Somebody needs to come together with somebody and demonstrate how they truly feel. Uh, how they're feeling, what their emotions and feelings are. I think um, somebody has been kind of avoiding the fact that this is an actual connection. There are actually feelings here and not wanting to acknowledge it. So hmm, Capricorn, that could be for some of you. All right, so this may or may not resonate with everybody. So please keep that in mind. Um, only a few of the messages may be for you. So please only take what resonates. All right, so, and if something didn't come out in your readings that resonated for you and your other monthly readings, maybe something here will also. So let's see what's going on in life for you, Capricorn. Capricorn in life. What's going on for Capricorn? Ooh. Just want to say a quick thank you to everybody who supported the channel, all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have tipped or don donated, sent a gift. However you supported me in the channel, it's truly, truly appreciated. Couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, life. We have, oh, six of Gabriel. Congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project. Awards, scholarships, or promotions. So this is success, victory. Um, sometimes it's offers coming in or proposals or it doesn't have to be a love proposal. It could be a proposal of a promotion, proposal of a raise, promotion of a proposal, I guess a promotion again, or a new job or something, uh, just moving forward, a lot of success, victory, um, accomplishment, or this is, you know, moving on to the next thing, next project. So let's see, very fiery, passionate energy. So we have five of Michael. The situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. So this is the five of swords energy. That's air energy. And the six of Gabriel is fire. So I feel like here, the five of swords is sort of like a egotistical, getting what you want no matter what, um, doing what you need to do no matter what. You don't really care about anything else. If some of you are in that energy of getting success, victory, or whatever here, moving forward, and you don't really care about anything else, that's not really good energy. So you may want to try a more practical approach, a more uplifting approach, like this says here. Um, 
or some sort of attachment to dealing with this is probably not the best way for some of you or it could be somebody around you if it's not you so let's see what your advice is what your advice is moving forward from spirit please thank you so much what is the advice for capricorn for this bonus reading please thank you so much and i do ask capricorn if you especially if you're new if you like my style and how i read check out my channel if you like what you see please feel free to subscribe if you do hit the bell and you won't miss out i do a lot of readings on my channel so um if you do subscribe thank you thank you all right so i feel that one we have Rhiannon, Sorceress. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. So again, I feel like this has to do with whatever you're trying to get or accomplish here. You may not, or someone around you may not be in a good energy doing so. But it says you can manifest what you want to reality. And I don't think you need, or someone around you doesn't need to be in that Five of Swords energy. Very egotistical energy. So now we have here Kamatina, pur purification. It's time for a cleanse and detoxification of your mind and body. So exactly. So toxic energy. Time to rid toxic energy here to find balance, peace, harmony. Whether it's people, places, things around you, negative energy is no longer serving you. Or maybe some of you actually do need to do a cleanse <laughs> of some kind. Um, an actual body cleanse, you know, fasting or whatever. Or eating healthier that I feel like here spirit wants you to know you can be the sorcerer and manifest what you want in a pure way not in this egotistical um, getting ahead at all costs no matter what kind of energy because there is success and victory here so if it's not you I mean it could be somebody around you it could be a, a friend a co-worker partner or something like that okay so, okay, let's see what's going on in love. I feel like someone here is not admitting that they have feelings for somebody. But we'll see. Could be you or your person. <clears throat> so, yeah, Page of Swords, it needs to be open, honest communication here. Exactly. Could be spying on each other or spying on you, you spying on them. But energy here of there needs to be open, honest, truthful communication had. Let's see. What else? We have a fortune. So this is a divinely guided energy. So whatever this connection is, it's meant to be. It's something faded. It's destined. Uh, things getting better. Going in. A, if there's communication between the two of you, or somebody admits, okay, yes, I do like you, or whatever, um, things will go in a better direction here with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so what else do we have here? The Emperor. Yeah, someone needs to take the lead, take charge of the situation to really um, come forward and say how they truly feel to get this wheel turning between the two of you. Somebody's not stepping up and saying how they truly feel or demonstrating how they truly feel. Page of Rod. So there's that exciting communication coming in. Again, passionate communication, truthful communication. Someone stepping up and having this communication of truth and passion and good news will get this wheel turning into a better direction. Six of Rods to success, victory. It could be an offer here with the wreath on the wand, very fiery, passionate energy. Again, success, victory, accomplishment. So this can be a successful connection here. If somebody steps up, say how they truly feel, you know, send out that good news of fiery passionate communication there will be success in this connection because the wheel will turn in the favor your favor or just in favor of this connection things going in a better direction queen of cups yes yeah, someone needs king or queen doesn't matter somebody needs to express needs to be mature about their feelings and needs to express how they truly feel that's loving caring nurturing giving kind of energy peace harmony intuitive energy someone may intuitively know that the other person does have feelings for them even though they're not admitting it but somebody needs to step up to the plate and just admit it already <laughs> whether it's you or them that there are deep feelings here king or queen doesn't matter between the two of you and things will just go in a better direction okay 
so. And whatever this connection is, it's meant to be because the wheel is there. All right, so let's see what the Six of Gabriel and the Five of Michael is about. Somebody trying to get ahead at all costs. They want their success. They want their victory. King of Cups, yeah. They're not in a very good energy. This person is not in a very good energy. King of Cups is somebody can be over-emotional, dramatic, um, like like a spoiled brat, like I want what I want and I don't care, you know, kind of energy with that King of Cups in reverse. Mm. Dramatic, spoiled, emotional, uh, drama, attention-getting kind of energy. Yeah, they just want to move, a move ahead very, very quickly here, and they don't care how they do it. I mean, this is moving ahead with success, victory, balance kind of energy, very fiery, passionate energy, but they're not moving forward in that energy. They're moving forward in a very, uh, like, getting, like, traumatic and, like, over-emotional and, like, needy, like, not a good energy with the King of Cups in reverse. But, I mean, the direction they're going is divinely guided for them. Um, that is faith, hope, and optimism and healing energy. So, well, let's keep going here. Seven of Swords, yeah. Just like, I don't know, let's get, let's get, uh, I'm, I'm not a temperance, yeah. You need to balance on balance out their energy. They need to heal themselves and balance out their energy. They need to step away from the Seven of Swords. Need to, that's a, like getting out of something no matter what. Like, um, I just got to get out of here, and I don't care if I got to sneak away. I just got to get out of here. It can be, you know, a thief. It can be, you know, someone who's not trustworthy. I think because we have three major arcana here. This person is not in a good energy. I feel like they lie, they cheat, they steal, they do whatever they can to get ahead. Divine is really trying to show them they need to change their ways. They need to heal their ways. I mean, trying to show them this is your path. You're on the right path, but you're going about it the wrong way. You need to find faith, hope, balance, healing, um, patient energy. Instead of rushing ahead in this imbalanced lying, deceitful, cheating, over-emotional um, kind of energy. If this is not you, I feel like it's somebody around you, maybe a co-worker, a boss, it could be your partner, it could be anybody, a family member. It could even be your spouse for some of you. And maybe you're trying to tell them, you know, what are you doing? I mean, you know. All right, let's get one more here. Five of Cups, yeah. So if they keep on this path, I feel like this is going to backfire on them. If they keep on the path they're on now, if they don't change their ways, that this is going to backfire because we have the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups. So I think this is going to backfire and, and they're going to lose whatever they're going after because it is meant for them because you've got the Two of Cups in the back, which is something that is totally, Two of Cups is something totally aligned for you. This is aligned for them. But they're going about it the wrong way, so they're going to, they're going to uh, just. This is going to backfire in their face if they don't change their ways. Then they're going to be crying over losing this, losing this divinely guided thing for them because they're going about it the wrong way. Wow. Okay. <laughs> However, that means for you, Capricorn. I don't know if this is you, someone around you. Okay. Could be a past, like I said, past present future kind of energy so let's see what this sorceress or and purification is for you capricorn queen of swords divine wants you to know or your person whoever is around you that they can manifest this moving forward in a pure authentic way not in this energy here not in this energy here all right what else strength so this is having willpower determination that they can do this, um, if they have the willpower to change, the strength to change, to see the divine light, to know and accept that divine guidance moving forward in a pure energy and not a this energy. Yeah, because rushing ahead here, being reckless, being a uh, rebel, like just charging ahead no matter what and 
using this sword recklessly and hurting and damaging things as they go, that they need to temper that energy with the strength and have that willpower and determination, but yet hold back and not do these things that are reckless and rebellious, that is just causing havoc. And divine is like, divine is like trying to combat, combat them head on to tell them, look, you don't need to do this in this kind of energy. They're rushing ahead with their sword and divine is putting up the master sword saying, stop, you just need to stop already. And with the strength in the middle, you know, is holding back and having willpower in your own strength, determination, bravery, and being in a more pure, authentic place. You have the moon energy. It's like not seeing the path clearly, not sure. Like they can't see the path clearly. So they need to like know like right now. <laughs> so moving forward, like very recklessly, like I just don't care. I need to know right now. This needs to happen like right now. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Healing, recuperating, rejuvenating kind of energy, thinking, contemplating. Somebody really needs to think and contemplate about what they're doing. There could be a lot of secrets also with the moon energy, things you're doing that you don't even know about. Okay, let's get one more. Yeah. What a, toxic energy here. Very toxic, toxic energy here. That is Capricorn there. I don't know if this is you, Capricorn, or somebody around you. But I'm getting this heavy, heavy throughout the whole reading, except for here. But right here, yes, somebody is in a very toxic energy within themselves that they need to change. Very secretive energy. Maybe they're doing things and not telling people what they're doing to try to get ahead. They really need to think and contemplate about, about what they're doing, what actions they're taking here, especially with the devil there. Wow. Okay. Let's see what's on the bottom. Yeah, six of swords in reverse. So... I feel like usually a six of swords to me in reverse means you've already reached your place of destination of a better place of leaving crap behind and being in a more comfortable, peaceful, harmonious place. But I feel like in this six situation, the six of swords in reverse, that they're not yet in that more peaceful, harmonious place. I feel like they're still on that journey or they need to take this journey that they're not willing to take instead of being in that toxic energy. Yeah. Waiting here. Uh, this is an energy of like waiting, the three of rods. It's like they don't want to wait, so they're doing in the two of rods, so making plans and decisions. Very fiery, passionate energy. But if they keep going in the same actions energy they're in, they're just going to end up heartbroken here. You know, over something that's divinely guided in the six of cups energy. I mean, something that is like meant for them, but they're juggling around too much energy and not seeing that they, they will have stability moving forward. It's just that they're going about it the wrong way. And they will end up with a broken heart if they keep going in the same energy that they're in, even though they're very fiery and passionate. Um, Six of Swords in reverse is just that they're holding themselves back here in this energy, Capricorn. So how would this resonates for you? If this is you or somebody around you or somebody you know, a coworker, I don't know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what this is about. Um, I hope this is for somebody. All right, Capricorn. So best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, so always, always shine your light.